Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today I want to show you how you can remove the background from your video, whether you're recording or streaming, so you can create something that looks like this. Whoa, check out me flying this plane. This is pretty sweet. Whoa! Barrel roll. If you are not a member of this awesome channel, this guy Kevin is really cool. Oh, that was pretty awesome. So whether you're walking through a PowerPoint presentation, whether you're demonstrating something on your desktop, or maybe you're just having a little bit of fun and you want to appear in front of your game, whatever your reason, it's really easy to do. And I'll show you step by step how you can pull this off. You don't have to buy any fancy equipment. You don't need a green screen. All you need is a basic webcam or some type of camera hooked up to your computer and you'll be able to do this. We're going to use all free software today. All right, well, what are you waiting for? Let's jump on the PC and I'll show you how you can pull this off. Here I am on my desktop and first off, we need to get some free software that's going to help us with this. So open up your web browser. Once you have your web browser open, head over to the website OBS project.com. I've also included a link in the description so you can just click on that. If you've never heard of OBS before, it's a free and open source video recorder and live streamer. It works extremely well. In fact, I use it for recording all of my videos on this channel. If you've never heard of OBS before and you're interested in just how to get started with it, I've included an intro video in the description. The great thing about OBS is whatever platform you happen to be on, whether it's Windows, Mac, or Linux, you can install OBS. Run through the installation process and then join the video again. Once you finish downloading OBS, head over to the website webex.com. We're going to use Webex to capture our video and remove the background. Webex is entirely free to sign up for and to use. Go here if you don't have an account yet and start for free and then sign in. Alternatively, you can also use Zoom or Microsoft Teams or any video conferencing software that'll capture your video and remove the background. I simply happen to be choosing WebEx Meetings today because I think it does a very good job at removing the background. Once you create an account for WebEx Meetings, over on the left-hand side, click on Downloads, and then within Downloads, you can download the desktop app. The desktop app will allow you to remove the background from your video. We are making some fantastic progress. Next, we need to create a green screen. I know, I know, I said you don't need a green screen, but this is gonna be a virtual green screen that we could create on our computer. I have Paint opened up. This is an application that comes pre-installed with Windows. Simply go to your Start menu, type in Paint, and then launch this application. Within Paint, let's click on the green color, and then over at the Paint Bucket or the Fill Tool, let's click on this and fill in a green background. All right, that's our green screen. The next thing that we need to do is click on File and Save This. I'm gonna simply put this on my desktop and I'm gonna call it Green Screen. Once I finish titling it, let's click on Save. You can see my green screen right here on my desktop. We're almost ready to get this working. Now that we have our virtual green screen, head over to your favorite video conferencing software. Once again, I'm using WebEx Meetings today, but you can also use Zoom or Microsoft Teams to pull this off. We're simply using the video conferencing software to remove our background. We're not actually going to meet with anyone else. This is gonna be a solo meeting. On WebEx Meetings, I'm gonna click on Start a Meeting. This opens up WebEx Meetings and I can now see myself. Hi everyone, good to see you again. Now I wanna use my virtual green screen and I wanna put that in back of myself so you no longer see this background. How do we do that? Well, up here in the top right-hand corner, I have the option to change my background. Let's click on that. I see all of the different virtual backgrounds. I could blur my background, I have different photos, but we wanna use a virtual green screen. In the bottom right-hand corner, there's the option to add an additional background. Let's click on that. This opens up the Windows File Picker. Navigate to where you saved your green screen. I put mine on the desktop, so I'm gonna select it here and then click on Open. Look at that, I now have my own virtual green screen in back of me. So next, let's go into OBS. Next, head over to OBS, and the first thing that we need to do is add a new scene. To add a new scene, go to the bottom left-hand corner and click on the plus icon. You can name the scene whatever you want. I'm gonna call it green screen. Once you finish typing in your name, click on OK. Now that we've added our new scene, we now need to add some sources. Right here, also in the bottom left-hand corner, let's go to sources and click on the plus icon. 
Within this menu, let's click on Windows Capture and we're gonna capture the video from WebEx Meetings. Once again, you could also select Zoom or Microsoft Teams. This allows me to name the source. I'm gonna call it WebEx Meetings Video. Once I finish typing in a name, I'm gonna click on OK. This opens up a dialog where I can choose what window that I want to include. Within this dropdown, I can see all the different windows that I have open on my desktop. Navigate to the one that has your video. I'm using Cisco WebEx Meetings, so I'm gonna select that. Under Capture Method, you could just leave that set to Automatic and Windows Match Priority, you can also leave that as is. And next, let's click on OK. I can now see my video within OBS. Next, I wanna crop it so it just contains the video portion of the screen. To crop it, you could click over on this square up in the top left-hand corner and press the Alt key at the same time. When you press Alt and drag it, let's crop it so it only contains my video and the green background. Once you're finished cropping, we are getting very close to including our video in front of whatever content we want. The next thing that we need to do is down under sources again, let's right click on the source that you added or whatever name you gave it, in my case, WebEx Meetings Video, and let's go up to the option that says filters. This opens up the filter dialog. Within here in the bottom left-hand corner, let's click on the plus icon. Within this menu, let's click on the option that says chroma key. Within here, you could just leave the name set to chroma key and then click on OK. And that removes the background from in back of me. You could go through and you could set, well, what key color is it? In this case, it's a green screen, but you could have also have done blue, magenta, or you could even set a custom color. I had it set to green. And then you could also adjust all of these different settings here if you find that the chroma key is not working that well. So here, for instance, I could set it so maybe it removes a little bit less or more of the green. So I could adjust it to get it perfect. I think the defaults look pretty good, so I'm just gonna leave it set to default. Once I'm content with all of these settings, let's click on close. I now have a black background in back of me. Now we only need to pull in some content. So how do we do that? Well, just like we added my video, we're gonna add another source with whatever content I want in back of me. Once again, go to the bottom left-hand corner under sources and click on the plus icon and then decide what type of content you wanna pull in. You could display your entire desktop. I wanna pull in another window with a PowerPoint presentation. So let's see how this looks. I'm gonna click on window. I'm gonna title this PowerPoint, then click on OK. Next, just like before, I could choose what window that I want to show. I'm gonna click on PowerPoint, and here you can see my PowerPoint presentation. I'm gonna click on OK. Now, what happened to my video? Well, if we look down under sources, whatever item is on top is the top layer. Whatever item is on the bottom is the bottom layer. I want the PowerPoint to be the bottom layer and the video to be the top layer. So I'm simply going to click on PowerPoint and then drag and drop it to the bottom. And now you see my video on top of the PowerPoint. Now with my video, I can click on the source WebEx meeting video, and now I can drag that wherever I want it on this scene. So let's say I maybe I put it in the bottom right hand corner, I'll position it right there. So now I'm in front of my PowerPoint content. Once I'm ready to start recording, I simply click on start recording here in the bottom right hand corner. If I wanna stream to something like YouTube or Facebook or Twitter or Twitch, I can click on start recording. Now this is just one example of the content that I could have sitting in back of me. I could play a game, I could open up my desktop, I could walk through different applications, whatever I want, and the cool thing is, I am now showing up right here alongside my content. So, oh, look at this, or look at that slide, check out these, oh, check out those delicious cookies. Whatever I wanna do, I can now show myself in front of my content. All right, that was a quick look at how you can remove the background from your videos without even needing a green screen. You might be thinking, why would I ever invest in a green screen? Well, with a green screen, the results are gonna be a little bit cleaner and you won't need these different conferencing apps, so it'll place less load on your PC. But all in all, this still works fairly well if you don't wanna invest in a green screen. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you wanna see me create any other videos in the future, leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed and as always, I hope to see you next time. Bye.